right here. But they're definitely the biggest that are on their way towards the waterhole. It is so quiet at the moment. I mean, there's literally not a breath of, of wind. Now, I hope you guys are ready and with your screenshots, because I think as those buffalo get closer and they get a little bit more excited, they might make some beautiful dust and very good for photography. Not very good for your camera, but, but it makes a nice, pretty picture. Hello, Janet, who's in Baltimore. Janet would like to know, what species would I consider a keystone species in our traverse area? Well, we're looking at one of them, Janet. Big herds of buffalo are very important. Another one would be elephants. Um, of course, all the predators. Everything changes when you remove any species. But in terms of keystone species that actually change the environment around them, buffalo is a very important one. Now, these big herds, as they march, uh, they disturb the soil. They actually end up putting or planting grass seeds to a degree as they till the soil. They're also large mobile fertilizing units. So the amount of dung that comes out of a large herd of buffalo is full of nutrients and very, very good for the plant species, in particular grass, to grow. Now, They've probably had to move quite far to find enough food. And now they're coming for the water. I don't know if you could see there as she snorted a bunch of flies. Now the one sometimes quite irksome thing about looking at big herds of buffalo is you collect a few of their flies when you move on. Well, it's difficult to see how many there are, but I'm not sure if it's a, a very big herd. I'd say there's at least a hundred. But we have been seeing some very big herds. I think I saw a herd here that was close on 500, 600 a few days ago. I could be nervous. You never know. There could be lions around. See, once one sort of gets excited and into the water, it might prompt the others to move a little bit quicker. Hey, buffaloes. It's okay. What are the zebra looking at? You see that, right? Behind us. The zebra is staring into the bush. I'm just trying to see what they're looking at. They're all facing one direction. Looking to the edge of the, the bush there. So once you finish with these buffalo, definitely worth going to have a little look. A little look see around where those zebra are looking. These buffalo are taking their time, moving quite slowly <laughs> at the moment. Not the biggest herd we've seen, but still awesome to spend time with these incredible bovids. Now, in this part of the world, Buffalo constitutes one of a lion's favorite meals. Now, in certain places in Africa, like where I was in Botswana, the best way to find the lions was to find the closest big herd of buffalo, and they would be somewhere behind them. During the dry season in Botswana, you can get herds of two or three thousand, and 
the lions literally camp out on those buffalo. So, unlike here where there's quite a lot of 